Here is our four to eight in engine. We've taken a few things off and kind of cleaned it up. Uh, as we went along, we noticed that there is, I think I mentioned this on a prior video, there's some old cracks here that have been brazed and they've been brazed really well. But then we got new cracks in it as well and they're pretty significant. We're gonna pull the engine apart and then we're gonna, we may have to buy a, another block, one that's not cracked. So we're going to go ahead and take it apart and we'll probably speed this up for you so you don't have to listen to us yakety yak. All right, so here we go. All right, we had to go off camera for just a minute. You can see on the ground, we got pistons and whatever the heck those are called, rods or? Connecting. Connecting rods, sorry. The flywheel and the crankcase. Uh, gears on the crankcase look great. The flywheel looks great. Um, connecting rods look great. I mean, it all looks pretty darn good. The engine, we got it all taken apart. Well, not all. We still have the valves to do, but we got the sleeves out. Two of the sleeves were totally ruined, and two of them came out pretty easily. Woo! -hoo -hoo. Kind of flying there, making you motion sick. So far, so good. In my last uh, little section, I talked about the crack in the engine. And it looks like it's been JB welded or something around here and I can see external cracking there. I didn't see any leaking, but, well, there was oil on it. It was kind of oily, so it might be leaking oil through. And then on the crack inside, there's kind of some grayish, almost like water in the oil sludge coming out of the, out of the crack. So we're gonna, we may have to get another engine block. Um, being in Idaho, we have this tractor place in Caldwell which is called Idaho Tractor Salvage. I called them up. They said they've got several 8N blocks and we should be able to purchase one from them. And they said they're not cracked. They've checked them out. Um, probably four or 500 bucks. Cheapest one I found online was 750. So, I mean, a block that's not cracked is, is gonna be a good block as long as you take care of it. So, here's where we're at right now. We're gonna most likely pull those valves out eventually I got to get a tool to do that and then uh, we'll probably be looking at another engine block and then it's just getting a engine rebuild kit and putting it all together no biggie well <laughs> I shouldn't say no biggie it's probably gonna be a biggie you see it's kind of a mess we got the distributor there and a few other things so thanks for watching uh, tune in next time hopefully we'll have a new engine block we'll decide whether to keep this one or not please like Subscribe. Oh, and comment. My son over there, Cameron, he's working on one of the pistons. He's, uh, I don't know if you can see him very well. He's much more savvy when it comes to this internet stuff. I don't know why that's not focusing. Say hi, Cameron. Hi. And then I got Austin here. Hello. All right. You don't want to see me. All right. Thanks, guys. Tune in next time. See ya.